How's a little boy? Age of five. Had something in my pocket. Get a lot of folks alive. Now I'm a man. Way past 21. Let me tell you, baby. We can have a lot of fun. Spell him. In. All you pretty women All stand in line I can make love to you, baby In an hour's time Ain't that a man Way past 21 Well, let me tell you, baby We're gonna have a lot of fun M A N Man
Wow, that's incredible music. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that's just in time with a little snow outside. Yes. Curl up next to a nice fireplace and listen to your music yeah. and and break some bread. That's what we're doing here today. Oh, <laughs> man off my own stomach there. Hey, this is the dreadlocks. Dreadnecks. Oh, though. dreadnecks. You don't got no dreadlocks. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and cooking in blues. Cooking and, and with the blues. And cooking with the blues. You know, you got a little blues and you do a little cooking. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so what do we have here? Something you made up special for us? Yes. Well, the reason I came out here after I talked to you was that I love baking, and I love baking when it's simple where I can do it on the fly. And what happened was, I was going through the thrift stores, which we have a lot of them around right, here. We have right. Jerry's, we have the Paws and Shop, and they have a lot of good deals. And I found this bread machine, and it was like $12. Twelve? Twelve dollars. They're like 50 plus. No, they're like 150 plus. Whoa! I mean, okay, let's face Give it, it it's away. a mixer, it's, a, it's an oven, it's an and oven. a proof box, it does everything. Okay? And there's it's more there, too. Complete, a complete unit. You could go there what, now what? and buy one. Yeah, and there's more. There's, they, they have lots of supplies. So the reason I want to familiarize everybody with bread machines and not to be as scared of them is because they're just a tool. Yes. And I have a really good recipe, and I'm going to share with everybody. And also, I made bread, and we're going to try a little, uh, have everyone try a little bit here in the studio and see Ooh, what y'all think. I'm waiting. I'm <laughs> on the edge. And also... Um, during the program, you'll see the recipe for my bread. And I want everyone to remember that when you're making bread, the water has to be as hot as you possibly can get it because that helps in the fermentation process. Oh, there you go. With the leaven. Hot. hot water. Okay, so that's, if, if it doesn't say it, it still means as hot as you can take it. Okay. And the recipe on these machines is very, uh, sophisticated in the fact that you can't make too much or it'll blow the lid off because right. it'll get too high okay. and your bread won't cook right. So everything has to be very precise. So What's on, that I smell over here? Yeah, I, 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 mm -hmm. I already I already mix this recipe so as to everyone can see okay. of the finished product. Okay. That, All right. That, that's good. So basically the what I want to say right now, first of all, is your bread machine has Everything, it's, it's in uh, digital, okay? Like, right. in other words, it'll say basic, French, uh, whole wheat. So okay. before anything is done, you have to familiarize with each machine that you do have, okay? Now, as you can see, the, the recipe is up now. And okay, it says there you go. four cups of bread flour. Okay, that means one big four cup measuring cup, you pour that flour into the machine. Then you would take approximately half, so if you have four cups, it'll be two cups water. That is always the mathematical equation with baking. Whatever your flour is, the other half would be water. So if you have four cups of flour, are there okay. two cups of water. There you go. Now the yeast, the salt, and the sugar, as you can see, are minimal amounts. Now, on my recipe, you can see that I have a third cup olive oil. Now, that's a wet ingredient. I would want to put that third cup olive oil in with the other two cups of water okay. so as to not over, it won't, not, won't be over wet. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, but you can use, like, margarine or lard, and then you don't have to substitute that liquid. The, the liquid. Exactly oh, correct. Oh, I see. All right? So, when I put all these ingredients that you're seeing right there into the machine... And I turn it on, it has a little jog effect. It goes vum, 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 vum. Slowly as to not get your bread flour all over your machine inside. Sure. So then after it has it mixed up a little bit with this jog, it all is automatically, it'll come on. Now the I'm using the basic cycle or the French bread cycle. Okay. Which is about a three hour mix down. Three, From when you add your mix, mix okay. three hours it's done and you're pouring it out. Wow. <laughs> You know, my, my mother used to, to make bread every other day. She'd make like three or four loaves, 
And if I was really, really good boy, I got to stay home yeah. and help her eat it. Help her eat it, yeah, with hot butter. Oh, hot butter. Oh, hot butter when it's on it. Oh, it's yum, delicious. Yum, yum. I was a good boy. Well, I brought you guys a treat today. I brought some salami and cheese. Uh -oh. So my bread just had finished before the starting of this program, so All right. it can cool down and we can slice it correctly. Uh, is it cooled down now? It's cooled down enough now. No. We, can, oh. we can try it. So Ooh. the bread machine, after you put everything in, will mix it and bake it. You don't have to do anything. You don't, it's the beauty of it. Okay, here's the thing that turned everyone off with the bread machines, Arthur, was that they were expensive, but then you had to buy the boxes of bread mix, which was three to four dollars a box. Oh my God. Well, who in the hell wants to pay Four dollars for a, bo a loaf of bread that you got to make yourself. Yeah, yeah. Well, my recipe: if you just buy bread flour, and yeast, everything else you have at home, it's pennies a loaf. Now remember, it has to be bread flour. It'll say right on the outside of your flour, bread flour. Right, right. Okay, it don't say unbleached. Uh, and you'll be having a problem. Uh, yeah, right. right. Well, it'll still work. But your bread won't be quite as delicious yeah. and flaky as it is with the, the mm, refined flour, flaky that's correct. Bread. Mm. Okay, should uh, we take a look at the bread? Yeah, let's, All right. let's dig we'll in. Take out my guitar here. Hold this for me, honey. And you normally should wash your hands before you handle the bread. Yes. <laughs> so after it's all done. <laughs> it just came from the rain. After it's all done and completely mixed. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. It will come out, and now this is what it looks like when it's done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smell of it. Ah. Smell of it. Yeah, it's really smells really good. And then you, tack, you, you talk, tack it out like this, and you have to go like this, and then you bang it. Mm -hmm. And there we go, voila. Ah, voila. For pennies on the loaf. Pennies. Pennies, not two to three dollars. And if you look at the regular bread, you'll see that it has three or four lines of ingredients. This bread only has five ingredients. Flour, salt, sugar, yeast, and olive oil. Mm, I like the olive oil. Olive oil is the oil of God. Yes, it is. You know, so you know this is going to be really wonderful. Mm-hmm. Um, were we going to take a break, or what nope, were we going to do? just slice into it. All, All right. right. Well, my wife needs to go and uh, grab a knife. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go grab us a knife, honey. And we're going to share with everybody here in the studio. Yeah. It, it, and since it was, it was made a little while ago, I didn't take it out, so a little condensation got it wet. Normally, you want to take it out immediately, so it gets hard and the crust gets very hard. Crust down. Yeah. Okay, that takes it a little bit here. It's starting to do that right now. Yeah, bring that. Are you going to fill it? Yeah. See how it's kind of wet? Oh, yeah. Now fill that how it's dry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to take it out of the machine so this don't happen okay. quickly. But because for all intents and purposes showing everyone today, I wanted to demonstrate that. And usually what you do is you take it and put it on a rack when it's hot. Uh -huh. Rack so it, it can let breathes. the air and yeah. it can breathe. Let the Because right. you have to remember, this bread is alive. It is alive. Okay. Did you get the salami? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're here so, with the, the dogs yeah. have decided to join us, which is very You nice. have to have a good sharp knife. Yes. Whoa! Well, this is a good World War it's II hacker, man. <laughs> it works good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, Arthur, okay, here. Well, these dogs get to try it because they've been waiting patiently, so they all get to try a piece first. <laughs> the end piece. How you like that? These are service Arthur. animals to help Arthur's on all kinds of ways. Yeah. Arthur will explain that. Mm -hmm. And the neat thing about it is you can cut any thickness you want. You want a thick piece of bread? Thick, thin. I like to go a little thinner because I really love toast. Mm. And here is the some cheese. This is really good. <laughs> now I've been waiting almost a month for this to come about. Yeah, well, you seen us at our last show at the Black Beauty, and that was yeah. a real good time, wasn't it? Good yeah. time. We kept them dancing until one in the morning. Oh my God. 
Okay, honey, hand me a piece of salami. I want to... Where I got the energy to do that, I have no idea. <laughs> Must be in the music. Uh-huh. All right. Well, this is very... And then put a piece not of very cheese. Here, but. Put, yeah, we're not very formal, but we like good eating. Mm -hmm. Here, mm -hmm. again. Somehow I have to cut this. Well, you be careful with that big knife now. Yeah, yeah. she's careful. She she knows. I lay my knife so over so she knows that she has you to put watch it. it. Would you like some put a piece cheese of cheese, honey. Put a piece like this. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And of course, the crew is welcome. Yeah, we're going to make them a sandwich now. Give me a cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm making this for Alan, and then and see what it is. Uh, see, like that. Yeah, that. You know that uh, okay. We have to give you a piece of cheese. No. No, you don't want to. It's no. Dumps. No cheese. Give me a piece of cheese here. All right. Mm. Happy meat. Oh. Sandwich? Homemade oh, uh, bread. A sandwich fit for a king. Come on over here and get your sandwich. You got one for a veggie? Have we got one? <laughs> just cheese and bread? How about just bread? Just bread. Okay. Have the cheese. The vegan give give him a piece of cheese and then let me cut here, him here, a piece. Here, take your cheese. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Now, we used to make bread from scratch. My grandma. This is from scratch. I mean, kneaded and everything. Yeah, but this needs it. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. yeah. This is beautiful. Here's your piece of bread. This does everything. The machine does everything you don't have to do by hand. You but know, it's fine. the same essentially as hand kneaded bread. You know, that's that's the fact of it. It sounds like homemade bread. It is. It is homemade it's bread. Studio bread. Oh, <laughs> it's a studio bread. Studio made. What do you think, Arthur? So at what store can I buy this at? Well, you have to get a machine first, certainly. Oh, okay. The thing about the machines, the thing about the machines is they're up to $160 if you buy brand new. But I know for a fact there's three of them right down on Main Street at the thrift store for $20. What a bargain. Which store is it? Jerry. Jerry's? Pastor Jerry's store, yeah, oh, where they feed everyone. You know, he, he sends out food for everybody. He's the best, and he's really helped everyone in the weed community. Yeah. Um, and I want to thank and, Jerry. And can donate it? more food to him, that'll, that'll help more people. Yeah. yeah. Our appliances, our old bread machines, you know, anything you have, you, you know, he helps the community out. Mm -hmm. Well, also with this recipe, it's not just with the bread machine. You could also use this in a regular mixer. If you have a, a KitchenAid, you can mix my bread recipe in a KitchenAid, and then you let it rise, and then you put it into a bread pan, and then you bake it at the oven at 350 for 40 minutes. Oh, that bread is good. Can't keep away from it. Yes. You want another piece? No, I've got plenty right here. Plenty here now. This is good stuff. Now, I gotta tell you about my grandmother when I was raised. All right. We did olive oil, with All right. the same kind of bread, and you take a piece of cheese, too. Sure, thank you very and much. When it came out of the oven, we'd cut it and put some nice cascava, mm. the cheese, in there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we put it back in, melt it. That's like a panini. And if, we're, if we had behaved, we could have some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my mom would say, behave. Well, you got to understand, you folks, that my, my parents had bakeries. Uh-oh. And, and, and when you're a musician, you can't ever quit your day job. And I work nights and go on to bed. And that's the thing, is that... I find that the bread machine was so interesting because being a baker and knowing all my own recipes, that it's it's interesting being able to have it done for you, and then you just come home and boom, you have fresh bread. Also, they have timers, so it, it, the timer you can set your timer to go off at a particular time. It'll mix your bread, and then by the time you get home, it'll be done, so you can dump it out and it won't be moist. You know what I mean? It won't just sit in the, in the machine That's all day. Good. Hey, we gotta. Um you want some Move salad? over to um, uh, Paws. He's going to show us some things here. Why don't you oh. come and sit down in my seat here, Paws? Okay, dude. Yeah. If you I want me I to move. I, yeah. Here, I can move, too. Okay, we want to learn about this. Yeah, so do I. Oh, wait, before you go, I want to hear about that guitar. I'll tell you. Okay, 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 okay. Your Do my spiel here. Salad. Okay. Wow, where are we going to start? Where are we going to start, Arthur? Well, hey. Now, you got to finish off the, the, the uh, afternoon here with uh, what are you going to show us? Well, let's see. Uh, 
I want to start with that guitar, tell you the truth. I want to know the history behind that guitar. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we got how much time? We got lots of time, right? We got, hey, we got a five and you got a ten over there. There must be something behind the guitar. Right? Yeah. This guitar, <clears throat> when I got it, it's a Martin. Mm -hmm. So it's a very expensive guitar. But it had a buzz. Mm -hmm. You know how they build things, and I guess just anywhere they build things, and it wasn't right. So I ended up taking my whole guitar apart and it turned out that it was a bolt that was on this that had jogged loose that when I'd hit an A note it would go eh, and vibrate. <laughs> so I fixed it. Well then after I fixed it I decided you know what I wanted to do a monochromatic painting of Jimi Hendrix here and oh, you I'm see Jimi Hendrix in the, in the picture here you see him? I see Jimi Hendrix. Oh, I can and see Freddie see King. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah, are monochrome. Oh, wow. Look at that. See how they blend right in with the roses? And what's this little critter here? That's an old, what do you call those things? I forget. That's a tortoise shell. But look ah. at You see the footprints going around here? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's why I call this footprints. Because at one point, you see, it's just like the palm. You'll see one set of footprints. <laughs> and you can see. And, and it goes all around. And then my roses that I had put. But this was an acrylic that I did. And here's the thing. I just kind of made the guitar my, my own, you know, or nobody else have it. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. Thanks you? for your music so much. Yeah, you're I gotta come to the Black Butte. Black Butte Saloon. They really support us Where a lot here. Where are you playing here. next? I'm gonna play at the Black Butte next. When? Um, probably next Wednesday. We, okay. we we meet with the Blue Society. I might be there. Okay. If it doesn't snow. Well, if it snows, it's a good place because they have a we. You gotta get over the hill though. You gotta get here from that snow. All okay. Right. You got three minutes. Buddy. I only got three minutes for the whole show. Right on. I like that. So here we are. Well, three minutes, here's what's worth doing. The Weed Community Resource Center. We can talk about my stuff yep. anytime. All right. Um, they're, uh, they feed people. Paper, I love paper. It comes from trees, I love trees. Well, let's see. Arthur, you must know about the, the Weed Community Center the weed. on Tuesday. There you go, okay. Gives off, um, some real good uh, luncheon at 11 o'clock. So make sure that's every Tuesday at the Mercantile. So come okay. on down and have something to eat and socialize with all of us. Mother's Day, May 9th, be there, okay? 11 to three. They've got a community garden cleanup on May 8th with a barbecue and their phone number, oh. I think the moon's in uh, Scorpio. That's my excuse. Okay, we Community Center phone number 530-938-2426. 938-2426. Is that it up there? And they yeah. want to talk to Joyce, right? To Joyce, yeah, or Jennifer or Darcy. And on Friday, coming up, April 3rd, a PowerPoint presentation on a wonderful number of photographs of the weed people. We the people. We the, the people. Friday the 30th. That's going to be awesome. You got to Yeah, you got to be there. All right. Well, what else? When's it going to stop snowing? Oh, gosh. You got to ask the kachinas, the snow kachinas. Okay, let's ask the snow kachinas. Snow kachinas. It's never gonna stop snowing. No! Whoa! Arthur! That was a quick answer. I know. Well, That's it. It's never gonna stop snowing. That's all right with me. Imagine if it ever stopped snowing, Arthur. When, Where would we be? When it stops snowing, we'll have no water. I know. I, we got three minutes left. Is that oh, what, now we have plenty of time. Left. Oh, good. So, so let's have, do have you gone to anything interesting lately? Uh, I went to the community garden in uh, Scott Valley. Who's that picture though? Oh, yeah, this is this is it. <laughs> this is a famous picture that gets to, gets to be shown every now and then. This wonderful plant is despised by almost everybody in Scott Valley because it's a bane. It's a weed. It's a noxious weed. Must be destroyed. But really, in China. If you, you get on the internet, you can look up Isatis tinctoria. I-S-A-T-I-S, and then tinctoria, T-I-N-C-T-O-R-I-A. And you'll discover 
It's an ancient medicinal that the Chinese have been using. It's a major antiviral, antifungal, anti-inflammatory. What did I skip? Anti. It's good for cancer, AIDS. I mean, it goes on what and on. What's the name of it again? It's called Isatis tinctoria, or it, actually, one of its names is wild indigo. Ooh, that's good for Mount Shasta. Mm. Wild indigo, no less. Now, indigo. Ah, yum. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you normally find it growing? It's everywhere in this county. I can show you outside, probably. I got some samples here, but we'll do that in another show. Okay. It makes a wonderful salad. That was pretty sharp, uh, other side of the knife. The uh, my friend, my friend Jerry Quintero, who's a, an acupuncturist in in uh, Wairika, sells it and prescribes it for all the things you just mentioned. And you can get these little packets if you're in China. Balangen Chongqi. Next week I'm going there. I'll get some. And that's yeah, how. Oh yeah, yeah. It brings it. Well, we got we got so much here. We could start a new industry here. You know. Rather than try to kill this wonderful plant, it's considered a noxious weed in this country, but it really isn't. Once you get to know the plants, there are no noxious weeds, no. really. They're all wonderful. So <laughs> what, that, 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 this is like the... This is, the this is a root. The root? And that's the leaf. Okay. And I've got a wonderful salad I made in their garden. All weeds, 15 different wild plants made a salad. Mm. What Stuff? was that one I had the other day, I told you? Come on to my house, we'll have a Daddy wild lion. time. Dandelion leaves. Daddy yeah, lion. I fixed that you got the some other in night. here, yeah. Boiling water and salt, dandelion leaves. Yeah. Dandelion yeah. water. Yeah, that's like spinach. That's what we used to have when I was just a kid like was spinach. oak. Well, oak start like, playing the music. Start playing the music. We got yeah. that. Enough of this talk. Let's sing and dance. Break it out. Break it out. Break it out. Chop down with the end Don't be late. Don't be late. You better not be late. Cause I'm a good child. 